Hello, my name is Pastor Dave. Welcome to Strength in Scripture. Today we are going to be making a meal plan. Does the good God above really care what I had for breakfast this morning? Turns out he really does. In 3 John verse 2, it states that he wishes above all things that we would prosper and be in health even as our soul prospereth. The Creator wants our bodies to prosper in health and for us to treat them as living temples where he can dwell. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 and 20, it says what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's. For this reason the psalmist thanks the Creator stating in Psalms 139.14 that I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We're counseled in Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. We're responsible to our Creator for the way that we treat our bodies and one day He will call each one of us to account. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. When you abuse this living temple by not following healthful practices, you sin and God rejects you as one who has no respect for his creation. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. For this reason, in Scripture the Lord left counsels for the optimal maintenance of physical as well as spiritual health. The best way to plan for health is to live a life in harmony with the principles of God's Word and for the glory of His kingdom. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. If you don't care for this body, you cannot properly call yourself a Christian. Philippians 3.19 says, Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame, whose, who mind earthly things. In contrast to unhealthy practices, the people of God are counseled in Isaiah 55 verse 2 to eat that which is good. When supplying them with food in Eden, the Lord gave Adam and Eve the best diet. Genesis 1.29, God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Fruits, grains, and nuts were the diet appointed at the beginning. After sin entered into the world, man was to till the ground. In Genesis 3.18 it says, Thou shalt eat the herb of the field. At that time grains and other high energy foods with lots of carbohydrates were added to supplement their diet. Although it was permitted by God after the flood, it's now evident that flesh food should be abandoned. God's purpose is for us to return as far as possible to the original diet. The Bible advises us in Proverbs 23.20, Be not among wine-bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. Romans 14.21 says, It is good neither to eat flesh nor to drink wine. Remember that there's no killing or death in heaven, so everyone there is a vegan. Alcoholic beverages and stimulants are also condemned in Scripture. Proverbs 20 verse 1 says, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Tobacco and narcotics also defile a Christian. Revelation 21 27 says that there shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of God anything that defileth. 2 Peter 1 6 states that God's people add temperance to knowledge, and temperance is abstinence from all that's harmful and moderation in all that's good. If you follow God's plan for your living temple, you'll prosper and be in health. And if you still refuse to follow a healthy lifestyle, remember this, Galatians 6 verse 7, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you want to learn more about a healthy biblical diet, Go to YouTube slash The Cutting Board and get recipes and tips that are going to help you live a biblical diet.